everybody knows that Vicki and I love the clear view that a single pin hunting site provides. And True Glow Range Rover has long been one of the top selling single pin sites in the world. So I ask you, how do you improve on something this close to perfection? It's time to lose the pin. Introducing the Archer's Choice Range Rover Pro, featuring True Glow's innovative power dot illuminated center dot technology. Lose the pin and open up your field of view. True Glow's new revolutionary scope housing encompasses a circle with a lighted center dot for superior accuracy. Now, there's no pin to obstruct your view on long distance shots, and the brightness of the LED is fully adjustable to match your desired level under any lighting conditions. And the Range Rover Pro still comes with all of the other features serious hunters have come to love. The patented zero-in adjustment dial allows for ultra-smooth, fast, and precise yardage adjustment. There's a glow-in-the-dark shooter's ring, large field of view, and a tool-less design. The quiver mount's included, and it's adjustable for right- and left-handed shooters. And you can still use the Range Rover accessory lens kit to provide two times magnification. The Archer's Choice Range Rover Pro Increase your accuracy. Increase your success. Open up your view with the new Power Dot Center Dot technology from True Glow. The future of archery sites is here and only from True Glow. It is the Alpha Slide site. This site is going to be on my bow this year, and I'm really excited about it. Not only do we have a little bit added adjustment here so that you can get out to a little bit farther ranges with your bow, but we've packed in a quiver bracket into here so that you can mount your quiver in any way that you really want to onto this site. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. The other thing that this site includes is a .019 pins and a A-shaped pin that helps you funnel that pin down to your target and just allow you to have a better sight acquisition on your target and I really like that shape because it doesn't obstruct um, the target that you're, um, you're shooting at. So this sight is great with windage um, and elevation micro adjusts and allows you to just really be on your game whenever you need to. This is the Apex Covert Pro PowerDot sight that Don is really excited about to use this fall. This is an excellent site, one of my favorites for sure. Has a lot of great features on it. The main thing is the scope housing has crosshairs with a power dot in the center. And the awesome thing is it has 11 different adjustments on it. You can go real dim if you're in a blind or you can go real bright if you're in a tree stand. Scope housing has crosshairs with lighted center dot for superior long distance accuracy. It's ultra smooth, easy one hand adjustment. So that way when that buck's out there, it's crunch time. You can get that sight exactly where you want it. You can do it quickly and easily. Aperture housing also includes vertical and horizontal tilt adjustments. Adjustable second and third axis level. You know, along with the glow in the dark shooter's ring and the crosshairs being built in with the power dot sight that has 11 different adjustments on it, it's machined aluminum. This is a very heavy, well-built sight. It's one of my favorites, the power dot dedicated to bringing new and reliable products to our loyal customers year after year. Introducing the Clutch. This is a crossover sight that delivers both target range performance with the ability to quickly acquire yardages in the field while hunting. The friction drive system creates smooth and repeatable movement for precise pin placement. The Clutch is 100% machined aluminum, has stainless steel hardware, micro windage and elevation adjustments, and second axis adjustments. Double-sided tape enables both target and hunting performance simultaneously. Essentially, you can use one side for target adjustments with a different arrow trajectory, and use the other side for your hunting rig with a different arrow trajectory. The fine point needle is located on both sides for precision adjustments. The threaded housing also has an ability to accept an optional one and three quarter inch lens, which is not included. When the moment presents itself, whether it be a target or an animal, be clutch and know that you're using the most reliable and trusted brand in the sight industry, Trophy Ridge. From everyone at Trophy Ridge, thank you for your interest in the clutch and be sure to check out all our other innovative products at TrophyRidge.com. New for 2017, we came out with a three pin version for our optimizer sight line. So now, whether you're shooting the optimizer light the Optimizer Ultra or the Optimizer Kingpin, you have your choice of a single pin version or a three pin version. 
The purpose of this video is to show how to set up your three pin uh, version of your site. So regardless of the site model, whether it's a light, ultra, or king pin, the setup is gonna be the same for the three. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up your three pin according to the instructions uh, that came with your site. The first step is to set up your yardage tape. So in this step, it's the same, whether it's a three pin or a single pin. Um, you have to find your pre-printed yardage tape. And again, the process is the same. And you're gonna shoot two yardages, you're gonna shoot 20 yards, and then either 40 or 60, uh, depending on your capabilities, uh, what you have set up for a shooting range and stuff like that. So in this video, we're gonna do the 20 and the 60 method, um, which is the most accurate way of do it, doing it. So the first step is we're gonna shoot at 20 yards and get our first number on our setup tape. So you'll see that the model I'm shooting today is an Optimizer Ultra. So we're gonna get the first number on our setup tape and then we're gonna go back to 60 yards and get our second number uh, on the setup tape and then we'll subtract the two and that'll give us our tape number. So step number one, we're gonna shoot at 20 yards. All right, so we just got done shooting our first round of uh, arrows at 20 yards and we made a few small adjustments and my 20 yard mark is mark three. That's gonna be my starting point. But I wanna point out that when I shot at 20, um, I was using my top pin on my three pin and I was making all my major adjustments actually moving my scope housing. So the idea behind getting your 20 mark is you want it to be as close to zero as possible. And I was able to achieve that by a combination of moving my scope housing and also moving my top pin individually. So now my top pin is sighted in at 20 yards with my yardage wheel bottomed out at uh, number three. So now that we have the 20 yard mark, we're gonna go back to 60 yards and adjust our dial to compensate for the yardage difference, but then we're gonna continue to aim with our top pin. So really we're sighting in just like we would with one of our single pins and we're using our top 20 yard mark just to get the tape number. Once we have the tape number, then we can go on to sighting in our middle and our bottom pin. So we're gonna drop back to 60, shoot some arrows, get that second number, and then we'll put our tape on. All right, so we just got done shooting at 60 yards. So we had already shot 20 yards, and now we just got done shooting 60 yards. And again, we're using our top pin. So we sighted our top pin in for 20 yards and then used our uh, dial to fine tune it and then went back to 60 yards and made the adjustment on our dial. So at 20 yards, using my top pin, we were at mark number three. And now at 60, we are at mark 43. So we have our two, mar our two marks on our uh, setup tape. So we're gonna take three from 43 and that's 40. So we're gonna go into the tape kit that came with your site. And again, whether it's an optimizer light, ultra, or king pin, they all come with the pre-printed digital tapes. And at the top, there's gonna to be a little black number. So we're gonna look for number 40. Once we have that tape, you match your 60 yard mark on your yardage tape and match it up with your 60 yard mark on the setup tape and then wrap the tape around the wheel and now your sight will be sighted in from 20 yards to 80 yards by the individual yard. And now we have our yardage tape installed. So all we have to do now is go back, start with our dial at the 20 yard mark, which is our starting position. Make sure our 20 yard pin is still sighted in, which it should be. And then just sight in your second and your third pin to whatever yardage is you want. So once you have that top pin sighted in and your yardage tape found, all you have to do is just figure out what you want your second and third pin. So for me, I'm gonna do 20, 30, and 40 for my pin setups just because of the gapping. Um, they're not too close to where they become blurry, but there's a big enough gap to where um, the variance isn't that great, but yet it's big enough to where I can distinguish the three pins. So I got my 20 yard pin, my yardage tape on, and now I'm just gonna go shoot 30 and 40 with my second and third pin, and we're ready to rock and roll.